Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. 2016 iPhone SE on iOS 14.4.2, let's take a look. If you want short but detailed iOS 4 reviews that cover the devices you care about, make sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you always know if it's safe to update or not. With iOS 14.4.2, I've noticed no change in overall performance. When compared to that of iOS 14.4.1, all day-to-day -day tasks perform the exact same. Whatever performance you are seeing with iOS 14.4.1 is the same as what you should expect with this new release of iOS 14. Now animations overall have also remained the same as iOS 14.4.1. Now this is as expected since iOS 14.4.2 is just a patch of security vulnerability and nothing more. However, comparing iOS 14.4.2 to iOS 14.5 beta 5, animations do tend to stutter a little bit more. Now again, RAM management is also the same as iOS 14.4.1, which has also been the same as iOS 14.5 beta 5. App reloads are much more frequent as long as you do have several apps, no matter how heavy they are, open simultaneously. Before I get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is running off of a maximum capacity of 87% and has had a restart, though I have disabled performance throttling in settings, meaning that the iPhone is not being performance throttled. Now unlike the iPhone 7, battery life does remain the exact same as the previous iOS 14.4.1 release. There is no difference between the two at all, so whatever battery life you are experiencing now on 14.4.1 is sadly what you'll expect with iOS 14.4.2. Now I say sadly because iOS 14.4.1 did bring a very unexpected battery drain to pretty much every device, so again, battery life is the same, it'll be just as bad. Now keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now just like with iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.4.1, overheating occurs during medium usage and gets progressively worse with heavy use, though that is really only natural and considering this device is 5 year old hardware. While everything does remain the same with iOS 14.4.2 on the iPhone SE, when compared to iOS 14.4.1, we're still brought back to the main question of should you update. If you're on an earlier release of iOS 14, I'd say update at this point unless you really do care for jailbreaking. If you're on iOS 13 and want to update, I'd recommend waiting for the full release of iOS 14.5, but you can still update to this release. If you're on iOS 13 or earlier and don't care to update, but don't need to either, I'd recommend just staying there for now. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.